Daniel, an important win with the black pieces uh, in a crucial round. What happened today? Well, he played some extremely stolen line and somehow, yeah, so we'll probably go home. I mean, uh, somehow, yeah, even in the morning I had a feeling since things were, I will not go my way because, I mean, well, I tried to, uh, you know, I tried to complicate somehow. But then I realized it was probably stupid when uh, I, I played the stuff with the five and so on. When he took the pawn on a five, I think I mean probably objectively I'm more or less okay. But it's like black has to be extremely precise not to lose, and white can do almost anything I thought. And then suddenly he played this. He takes a five, rook takes knight d4, and uh, yeah, I mean even uh, uh, without rook takes f2 it would be quite nice for for black I, I think. And then I realized I have this, yeah, rook takes f2. And my original feeling was like, well, you know, it's too, uh, too nice to be correct. So, I mean, I, I normally calculate, yeah, a lot of such stuff, and it never works, basically. And then I started, yeah, I started shaking it, and, yeah, I realized it's a kind of a reward, you know, for, yeah, uh, for being ambitious till the end, and then I realized it works. A bit strange game, and I probably... Well, he's only 15, I guess, or 14 or 15. I mean, obviously, he's a very good player, but he still lacks some experience, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. L uh, young Lance from Spain. He just completed his international master title uh, last month. Uh, now, you were mentioning that um, you were either expecting to play against Levon or against yeah, Lance uh, no, no, in today's no. round. Yeah. So were you happy or were you relieved when you saw the pairing? No, I was actually I was quite unhappy. Because, uh, you know, Lev and me, we have some, uh, yeah, some hard story of relationship. Because I was actually the one to, you know, to let him win the World Cup. Because we, we played in round four, I guess. And uh, the first game was a draw. And then in, in the second one, I had black. So I was much better. He, he offered a draw. I obviously refused and eventually lost. And I felt like a complete idiot after that. And I'm waiting for, uh, for a chance to play him again. So I would actually prefer to, yeah, to play Ronia. And plus, you know, plus I'm, you, you could see that I'm do, doing badly against such unknown guys like uh, Gary Keelan and so on. I mean, obviously now, now Gary Keelan is just a legend. But uh, yeah, be, uh, before this game, I don't think you, you heard about him. Yeah. Well, uh, that brings me to my next question. You lost your first round to Gary Killen, and then after that, you've been on an absolute roll. You're on five and a half. You scored five and a half out of the next six games. What's going on? No, but I mean, I've always been, you know, a streaky player. So I don't know. I mean, it's uh, quite normal. Plus, uh, you know, here, especially after losing in the first round, well, I understand that five wins in a row or almost in a row. Yeah, I mean, it looks impressive. But actually, uh, you know, be, being one of the favorites, I, I obviously, uh, I'm obviously facing, uh, well, I mean, generally a weak opponent, obviously, as everybody is quite strong here, but still, yeah, I was much higher rated in all the games, so I don't think it's kind of, yeah, a sensation or something, I mean, it's just normal, it happens, yeah. Right, now, um, you won your game, Levon also had a crushing victory against Nigel, looking forward, you might be playing him tomorrow, are you looking forward to that? Well, yeah. No, I mean, obviously, I'm always happy to play any strong player. So I would love to play in Nakamura or Aronian or, I mean, any top guy. So, yeah, it would be nice. Right. Well, we're looking forward to seeing that. Thank you very much. Thanks.